Eurovision again, if not in Malta and Sweden. So. So she would go for Sweden. I I had some people ask me to try to go for Sweden, but to be honest, I told them that I don't think that I'm ready to leave Malta yet. You know, I think I should try at least once more for my country before I try for another country. I believe in Malta and very patriotic, so I, I, I love my Malta and I love my Malta's people. And uh, I think if, if they don't tell me that it's okay for them, for me to go for another country, I don't think I ever will. You've been in Sweden now in October, you came in October. Yes. And uh, you have been doing some recordings. So yes. Can you tell us more about, uh, is an album coming out of, of Chiara? <laughs> we are working on it. We're having some songs, we're seeing some songs, like shopping for some songs at the moment and tomorrow we're starting to record something already. There is plans of maybe coming back here next year, early next year, January or February. Um, uh, yes, it looks like there's a lot of projects here. And at the moment it's looking very good. I mean, Stefan is really helping me out. I met him through Eurovision, so at least I have that thing to thank Eurovision this year. And uh, it's the second time I'm here, so, you know, sometimes from Eurovision you get a lot of contact, but then after the Eurovision is gone, like everything fades away a lot of times. But this doesn't seem like that. It seems different. It seems like it's gonna stay. And I'm really happy about it. I have to learn the language though, because I. I'm a complete disaster, I don't know anything in Swedish, but I think the more I come, the more I will learn, so probably by next year I will be able to speak at least a little bit of Swedish. Have you already picked up some, some Swedish words? No, but it's the most simple ones, like yes and no, and like good morning, only those simple, simple words. You know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> He came to Malta in April to make an interview for Eurovision and then we met again in Moscow and then after everything passed, I mean Eurovision passed and so on, um, he called me and he said, listen, I have this idea, I would like to bring you to Sweden because I think your voice is wasted, you're not doing anything with your voice. And uh, I thought, yes, why not? I always say yes, you know, I learned, I've been 17 years now singing and I've learned to say yes to everything until you actually see the things in your hands. Because a lot of people say a lot of things, but then they don't deliver. So I said yes, obviously, no problem. And actually when October came, he sent me the ticket, and I was like, oh, so, so this is happening. And I came here and I met the band, and we were preparing for the Christmas show. And uh, I, met, I met a producer as well, who is shopping for some songs for me, to whom I'm going to, to start recording as well. Um, I met Jan Johansen, who is quite a big name in Eurovision here, and he is very interested in recording a song between me and him, so for that I'm really honored, because I know, yes, because I know how, how big he is, so it's, it's an honor for me. Um, we've sung together um, Let Your Spirit Fly, his song, the one he had here at the Melody Festival, and it's nice, I think maybe we'll record it as well, because both of us are very happy with the way it came out. So now, projects are coming in, you know, like we're doing these Christmas shows and we're already thinking of what we're going to happen next year. So, do you think it helps uh, that Kevin Boy, who actually is from Ma Malta as well, and he, he won the song, so I know. does it help you that we are so familiar with uh, Malta already here as well? It helps. I remember in the beginning when I started to sing and I used to go abroad, I wrote a lot of people who used to tell me, no, I'm not there. I'm saying 17 years ago. Just tell me, where are you from, Malta? And you see them puzzled. They don't they have no idea where Malta is. Nowadays it's different, especially here in Sweden. And I think Kevin helped in that. He made it more easy because when I say I'm from Malta, everyone tells me, oh, you know Kevin? And, you know, Malta's very small, as you know, so everyone knows each other. So, yes, I think he helped. Another 400,000 people in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs>
Chiara, thank you very, very much. We wish you good luck for your professional future in Sweden and of course in Malta. Thank you. Thank you. Um, want to see you a fourth time on the Eurovision stage. I hope so. I hope so. And we will be very happy to see you perform for Sweden as well. I, I will see. I don't know. This is. I cannot say yes or no. But I will see. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I heard a fantastic piece of music uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago. It was sent to me during the radio show. Uh, Lawrence Gray and you. You sang a fantastic song together. Lawrence Gray? Lawrence Gray. Oh, yes, the prayer. Exactly. The prayer. Fantastic. And again, it gave me the goosebumps. It's just amazing. Lawrence has an amazing voice. He's another artist that for me should should just get out of Malta because Malta's too small. You know, and like, for example, me, I went to Eurovision three times. There's nowhere else I can go now in Malta. So the only, the only thing I can do is go out of Malta like I'm trying to do now and be bigger somewhere. Else. Because Malta, there's a limit to where you, you can go, and I think Lawrence is also one of those artists that should, should be thinking of doing something like that. Now, you are showing it to the other artists of Malta to actually leave Malta to find a career outside. Do you think it will follow, some other artists will follow you? I hope so. I mean, I'm trying my best here. I've tried a lot of. of, of uh, countries, to be honest. It's, as I said, it's 17 years I'm singing and the three times I went to Eurovision, each time I tried to go somewhere else and try something new. It's not easy. I, I, can, I can assure them that it's not easy at all. And some places have so many good singers, it's very difficult for an outsider to come and start something there. But with perseverance and with believing in yourself, at the end, I mean, I never thought that I would come to Sweden one day, but now I'm here and thank God I'm having good shows, I'm having good projects, so hopefully everything will turn out right. I'm really glad that you did that stuff, because as you say, it would be basic to in Malta. And now we stop the interview, otherwise we keep on going on and yes. on, but I need to keep some material for later. <laughs> so okay. Thank you very much, Pia. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>